Here we go. We're, we're live. We're on the podcast right now. Do I have to pay for coffee today? We're good. We're getting ready. We, got in we got our first guest on the podcast. Let's go. Shiraz Sheik. Okay. Hey, G baby. Shiraz. That's what I said. Not Shiraz. Yeah. I said Shiraz. I know, but I had Jamie called Shiraz yesterday. I had to cry. Did he? Did you smack him in the face? George, you need gas. Just please. kidding. I know. I'm going to get gas. Apartment. That'll be a feature. That'll be a presentation on this podcast. I don't want to get Can gas. Can lights on the No, I don't think so. It works. Really? Can you roll around? My yeah. lights might be still on. Yeah. Do they? Do you your guys' auto? expensive cars not have they auto be lights? On. Yeah, they should. Oh my goodness! Your door must be open. <gasps> yeah. Ooh, my lights are on. Okay, you guys can talk to me. All right. I got coffee. So don't We're gonna go get coffees. Coffees. Yes. Are you wearing your seatbelt, Charles? Buddy, am I ever? Safety first. It's, it's a, a shoulder strap. This is safety first. Good job. Do you like the set? I do. It's got the panoramic sunroof. I know. I actually like that. Mine doesn't have that. What year is this one? Uh, this is a 2015 Kia Sorento one, with 116,000 kilometers. And if you go to buyitsmart.ca, <laughs> you could figure out what this would cost you to finance. Dude, it was still running. <laughs> what? It's still running. That's where my brain is at lately. Uh, Nowhere good. Hey, I'm back. I'm how, how could it be running if you took the key in? Well, it's got the, yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, I don't care. Yeah, I know, but... Would it would it shut off eventually? Yeah. If the key gets far away. No, I don't yeah, know. It does. Yeah. I don't know if it's does good it roll for you. Well, probably not. Probably why, not. Why don't you have a key to the entrance? Yeah, that's a good question. Why don't you? Guys should definitely have a key. Well, um, you guys should definitely have. I think Roy was gonna get me one. Yeah. And it was just one of those things, right? Like, I'll get you one of those, and then you forget, and then he forgets, and then it just doesn't happen. Yeah, I gotta get a key. Yeah, because I I often so. show up a little early, and I'm just I'm like, oh yeah. Gates not open yet. I'm always a little early because I just I have to be on time. Yeah, and Shiraz, yeah, you're so soft spoken. Thank you. Which I think works well for when you're dealing with clients on the phone, but it's not gonna work for this purpose. Why? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shiraz is good. In. Did you do the intro already? Because it's my turn. Welcome. Oh sorry. Uh, <laughs> you always do that and then it's just never my turn. This is an intro for Kent. Okay. Welcome, Kent. Thanks for watching again. <laughs> I only have one watcher. <laughs> Kent, Kent, you got to hit subscribe. He's like, he calls me after every. He doesn't want to tell nobody you subscribe to. Yeah, him. exactly. He calls me after every video, and he's like, you know, I can't do that, guys. I can't, I can't hit subscribe on yours. <laughs> but I will be watching he it. Just called him out. Yeah. <laughs> just called him out. He's like, yeah, you won't get any of that from me, guys. But uh, <laughs> you will get any support. <laughs> it's like, but I'll call you after every single one. And uh, we'll have a little chat. That's right. You sound actually just like Kent. Yeah. Oh, that's the way Kent sounds. He does stuff like that. He goes up when he's talking to you like that. And, oh, yeah, he's a good guy, Kent, eh? So. Yeah. Coffee, please. Can I get. Uh, you definitely need gas. I need oh my God. fuel. We shouldn't have started the podcast until we got all our crap together. It adds character to it the does. podcast. Plus, like I feel up. I feel like you should First move. First of all, I left the car running. You need gas. I feel like we should move around stuff. more on the I'm podcast. Stuck. Like I'm locked in. <laughs> yeah. Like, why am I locked Shiraz in? Shiraz is locked in. Um, We're gonna also, talk to Shiraz about working. his new experience yes. working with Buy It Smart. Yeah. And, and I want to get his opinion, mm -hmm. which is going to be tough because we're going to be asking him to be very honest, but I'm gonna be honest. the boss is in the car. That's so fine. Hard. You know what? I'll go out and pump the fuel. You ask him. <laughs> and then I'll get back in, okay? And then I'll watch the podcast after and I'll discipline him accordingly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, George, all lines. <laughs> well, <clears throat> yeah. I think it's it's there's been it's been a good it's could have been a good match so far. Yeah. We're match, we're lining up. And we're looking for new people, so I wanted to yeah. talk, you know, about what's what we need to what we need to do better. Yeah. As a company. Yeah. What we you know need to do better for Shiraz. Mm. What Shiraz needs to do better for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I was. He's so new. Yeah, but I he's think. Green. Yeah, he's in the car, so it's weird because we're like talking about him. <laughs> but I think he's doing pretty good. I think he's doing pretty good too. Thank you. So far, over I the think, weekend, he was like. I think today he's gonna make his, his first one. Yeah. He's been a full well. I was telling days. him, I was saying yesterday, the 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 top salesperson. I saw this on Facebook. The top salesperson at Steel. Oh yeah, no, we're going. Tim Hortons will come back. Okay. The top salesperson at Steel. Yeah. 
last year sold like 330 vehicles or something like this. It was a lot. Okay. And I worked it out, right? And Steel's a big auto group, right? Yeah. And I worked it out to how many, if he worked like Monday to, like if he worked a five day work week, it means that he sold a car every, every single day. day he went to work. And right. some days was different for him. It was an odd day. And on those odd days, he sold two cars. Okay. Right. So if so, he's probably he probably sold more cars than is he any a fleet anyone. Manager? No, he's just a salesperson. Just a salesperson. I think he might do some fleet. Three hundred thirty-four cars. Three thirty-four. I I don't know if that was the number. He was holding up the sign. Yeah, right? to beat that. This year. And and I don't know how much of those are like burning gas sales too, right? Because sometimes that is different. I don't know how they record their sales, but still, if it's three hundred. Yeah, basically, he's probably one of the best salespeople in. Nova Scotia, right? Um, I forget his name. Anyway, and uh, but he he only sold a car a day. So if you sell a car a day, you're up there. You're on the top, right? And Shraz is right. He's right now for this week. He's got. We have four more days in the week. He's got four deals working right now. Four deals. Yeah. So we actually have the best salesperson in Nova Scotia in the back of Thank you. the car. Wow. <laughs> I also. That's what I meant by that. <laughs> oh man, I, I this sucks. We're, we're gonna go to. Up. We're gonna go to the. We're gonna go to the other one. So oh, will we run out of gas? Yes, but that'll make for. Can you work out right? You can push that. That'll yeah. make for entertaining. I worked out this morning, I gotta put, man. I gotta change this. I got it in. I didn't think I was going to. I don't know uh, if that's set up right. Thanks, man. It was a rough one. You got your broccoli and eggs today, or what? I got. Actually, I do. Not eggs. Broccoli, chicken. Sweet potato. Nice. Love sweet potato. Cauliflower rice. Yeah. Um, a little bit of omelet. Is cauliflower rice just cauliflower? Curry sauce. Yeah. We went over this last week, don't remember? It's just chopped up cauliflower. Yeah. It's like crushed up. It looks like rice, but it don't taste like rice. Don't let it fool you. Yeah, that's what I mean. So it doesn't taste like rice. A friend of mine mixes it with real rice and says it's kind of a little it bit better that, that way. Well, well, you're like, you're like. Then uh, you're kind of portion controlling. Cutting it. I'm in a new attitude. I gotta. I'm having a renewed. I am having a renewed experience. And gratitude for my health and wellness. That's good. So I'm gonna kick it up a notch in my mid forties. Nice. I'm make it happen. I did my workout last night. Did you? 66 minutes on the elliptical. Impressive. 66 minutes. 1,200 Jeez. calories while watching Brad Pitt <laughs> destroy people in tanks. Oh, what movie? Fury. Still? Ooh, yeah, because I watched half, and yeah, I didn't work out this weekend. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you told, I told you you didn't I, uh, work out. Yeah, yeah but I was trying to avoid that yeah. until now. Well, <laughs> I caught you red-handed. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't what like... What about you, Shiraz? You got to work out in? Yeah, I, last night I went at 9 o'clock. Did you? Did some shoulders. Yeah. To the to the gym? Yep. How, what are the gyms like these days? Uh, it was actually really busy for 9 o'clock. So really? Like, yeah, I don't know why, but I tried to go earlier, but there was no time slot. What do you do, mask up between benches? or? You're supposed to, but I just kind of like stay in one area, so I don't really like... Oh, I gotcha. I just try to stay where I can do everything in one, one Yeah, thing. I gotcha. And then guys wait impatiently behind you? Do they? I don't Sometimes. Know. Sometimes. Like There's one particular like cable machine that like if I don't get it, like it's so hard to get, so I always try to get there first. What yeah. gym? Clark Place? Yeah, no, I'm at Fit for Less. Ah, oh, Fit for Less. Yes, yes, Because yes. I was at Good Life, but like you're paying so much more for the same thing. I know, so and it's the, the same point? company. Yeah, I understand. I get this keeps, keeps what speech. actually does what actually does Good Life? This is a question for our audience. Yeah. What? Okay. What does Good Life offer more mm. than mm. Fit for Less? Okay. Unless Shiraz knows. I'll, I could probably. You guys probably. I know how to me. answer that question as well. Okay. And be, ahead, because I'm more senior than Shiraz. Okay. <laughs> you go ahead. All right. Um, for people like your husband who are like. Man, I don't even want to look at this rack weight weight rack unless it's got 120s on it, because I because I can press one rep 120 once in my life, and there's no point, no he point me even this working out here. He right? this, you're so much trouble. <laughs> so, so that's what they don't have heavy weights. They go up to 75 pounds dumbbells. dumbbells but you can add, they have plates. But you can do different exercises with those weights and make it. You can still get a workout. <laughs> but you get those meatheads that are like, there's no point, but there's no, really no point. <laughs> You're just like, okay, buddy. But there's more good likes, obviously, than, than 
Is that yeah. the only thing that weights don't go up as high? Uh, well, just and the there's dumbbells. Because I see some pretty big. Oh yeah, every everything else is like they got the same stuff. But it's just the dumbbells are. Because the locker rooms are nice, they're clean. Yeah. There's no locker rooms. There's yeah, like there change rooms. Oh, well, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I and there's no, the there's, and there's no water fountains. Yeah, there is. Oh, they at, put them well, in? At the one I go to, there's a water fountain. Okay. That was like the thing I remember. It's like... Why can't you have a water fountain? Well, water I water. feel like when they first built them, it was like, man, this is exactly the same. What are we going to do? <laughs> that is like, take away the water. Like, I bet you like... No, I think that because of how they operate, Yeah. because they offer such, like, the way they remember is so cheap and everything, I think that there's like some regulations there that something they're not paying for it. Okay. Have to try like, why can't you put a water fountain in? Yeah. I don't, understand. I don't know either, but you have to, I remember, like, you have to bring your own water. To I, think, one side. But, I think the Fit for Life, sir, or the Good Life, sir, purified water, though, eh? Yeah. yeah. If you have a black card at Fit for Life, you get 50% off the water drinks. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, you get the Hydro Massage, which I have, and it's fantastic. And then, is that the chair? Yeah, it's like... Oh, it's no, like, it's the big bed. Yeah, it's like a bed. It's like a water water massage. It's, it's fantastic. And you can also have regular massage. Oh, yeah. The black hair. I like those um, too. I'm a regular massage. What do you mean? There's a masseuse? I think no, no, like they have massage chairs. Oh, yeah. They have oh, yeah. hydro bed massage, right. which is like epic. Where's some random location here? Um, I know. I'm just trying to get some... I'm just trying to get some gas. And this thing keeps falling apart, so... That we might have to pause and reevaluate this. Whole thing? Just this. Is that it goes on this? It bounces around too much on this. And man boob is way more visible <laughs> on this one. Uh, yeah, you don't want man boob. Not the movie. I don't want a man boob. I don't want them either. But I, got them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to show them off. It's going to work hard so you don't get dumped on. That's right. Better go so to good should, life because their dumbbells go up. We haven't really been talking about song cars. I know. But that's okay. It's part of the life experience, see? It is. You and actually this is a good point because uh one of two directions, and I'm sure people in the automobile field can attest to this. When you get into the car business, you can go one of two directions, and I only ever see it extreme. Mm. Usually, like extreme bad physical, mental, emotional help. Yeah. Health. Yeah. Or extreme good because you gotta line up. You gotta be so disciplined in the job, anyways, mm -hmm. and kind of like motivated and set your goals. And yeah, there's a lot of uh, athletes that sell cars. Is there? Is there? I feel like there are like a lot of people that work out. Yeah. They stay. They stay in shape. Yeah. That's why. This is what you're saying, right? There's a lot of people yeah. that like keep up with it. Yeah. And then there's a lot of people that like also just know, have substance abuse. I would issues. like. I would like people to weigh in on it. I feel well, like. Well, it's a. It's a. Oh. oh my goodness. Man, Tim Hortons is like a very popular place this morning. If you just go you like two, go? four, six, eight, ten, twelve. If you guys go in the morning, is it always this busy? Yeah. yeah. Well no, not really. You still go. You're dedicated. I'm de definitely dedicated to Tim's. I think it's more of They removed a Tim Hortons addiction. in Bedford and they, and then and that's it, it's gone. They didn't replace it with Which another one? Tim Hortons. The one on the highway? By Chicken Burger. Oh yeah, they did. They <coughs> removed that location too. Yeah, but the, now there's just a now there's just a missing thing. Tim Hortons. You gotta replace it. Yeah, because the next closest one is like down the road. Yeah. Yeah, they're all Starbucks people. In Bedford. I bet. I hate Starbucks. But is there a Starbucks? Oh no. Yeah, no. by Pete's. There's a Chicken Little Cafe. And there's a second cup. Well, yeah. This is the hat you're supposed to bring me. And you keep just keep it for yourself. Dude, you can have one of these hats. It's at www.fatherfigure.pro and you can put in your size and you can hit. I don't know my size. You can hit purchase now and See, I will send Just one. looking at the ratios, I would say small, big. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, but it's not small. It's like you, you got to find out your size. Mine's five and three uh, eighths. Uh, mine's big too. I have a big <coughs> skull, but we come from the same family. We're big skull people. Yeah. Lots of knowledge in there, huh? Yeah. Well, one would argue... Yes, one would argue. Some would argue. No. Shiraz is also the best um, Call of Duty player in the world. Not well. in the world, but I'm pretty good. <laughs> He's better than anyone who'll be watching this. Absolutely. <laughs> oh. Ooh, challenge. Oh. <laughs> He's talking smack. I bet oh. you there's somebody who's like, oh. They don't want that smoke. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. 
So what are, what what's what's the what's the thing? What happened yesterday when I was there? You stuff. guys were like, we yeah. had of all the apps that we got from on the weekend. Yeah, most of them actually are moving forward in the process. Yeah, so we haven't had any hard like no thanks yet. Yeah, um, which is good. Yeah, that is good. So we we could probably close three of the four today. I think maybe four of the four today. Wow, That'd be nice. <clears throat> yeah, because they're all uh, they're all still, and a couple of people came Balls out. in the air. A, pup, a, a couple people uh, came out of the woodwork as well. People that decided not to buy before have reached out. Like one guy was like, hey man, did you give up on me? I was like, no man, <laughs> I, I didn't give up on you. <laughs> we give up on no one. Yeah. Never. So, Unless they're rude. And that happens every time we post another oh, five star like review. Me. Someone comes out of the woodwork. Because I find people find us, right? <clears throat> yeah. On their fa Usually people find us on Facebook. Yeah. When they find us and they start the process, they usually like our page. Sound like you have a good I know. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you got a man. You need coffee. They usually like our page, right? <laughs> and then so that gets them like they're gonna get notifications now. So then when we post a five star review, yeah, they're like, oh yeah, these guys. And I find every time we post one, yeah, we get somebody that's like recently worked with us. Be like, hey man, can I still have that SUV? And I'm like, no, sold. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel so good to do to people. I sold it. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. There's always another SUV. Well, <clears throat> remember what happened? What? You can't mention any names. Remember what happened with that lady? Yes. And we told her, don't shop around all the dealerships while we work on this. Yeah, this is a good point. I feel I like... I don't know how to say that any better because they think you're lying to them. Well, because that's, that's the... <sighs> And I've been playing with different ways to say it, man. There's no way to gain someone's trust, like, other than our, our reviews, which it, which is, it helps. Like, when yeah. someone's like, why should I trust you guys over any other dealer? And when you can say, well, go to our reviews, and you can see. Also, the inventory being online is a big help, too, lately. Yeah. That's just happened. <clears throat> so, there, we're, we're like, we have those two objections, like, covered now. It's like, you got no inventory. It's like, yes, we do. It's all online. Yeah. So, go see it. Yeah. And like, why would I trust you? It's like, because everyone else who's done business with us gave us a five star review, except yeah. one guy who gives a 4.9. Yeah. Should have given us a five star. Yeah. And he felt bad after he called back. And his and review like, was. Fun. I never give five, so. <laughs> I was his review like, was good. Okay. Yeah. Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm hoarse. So you guys have to talk for a bit. Yeah. Well, yeah, he, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about. We're not as animated as we usually are. That's you just gotta move around, and then people will like. I can't move. Yeah, get it. Safety find first, out. right? Gotta keep the seatbelt on. So oh, we didn't do the intro. Welcome to Buy It Smart oh. Podcast. My turn, by the way. Yeah, I know, but you never did. Okay. Buy it. Uh, brought to you by BuyItSmart.ca, where you can go today to get pre-approved for a auto loan. Try to sell this. But we're going to be on Tim Horton's speaker right now. Right, can I get a medium two cream and a medium dark uh, black with a sleeve and a large double double tea with milk? The complicated one is Shiraz. That's it. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't like coffee. Thank you. Is it, I think tea has more caffeine. Do you remember when? It's not even about the caffeine. It's just the taste of coffee after, like, mm. it goes down my throat. It's not pleasant. Oh. Do you remember when Shiraz first started? And he was like, "No, no, I just drink my water. I don't want." I do. It's I okay. just don't. And then he was like, "No, thank you." George and and now first. he's like, and now he comes in. He's like, "Where's my tea?" <laughs> George forced me into like, my first tea. Like yesterday, Roy was going out, and he's like, "You guys want coffee?" And he's like, "Yeah, double double with milk." <laughs> hey, did he get it right though? No, he didn't. I had to add my own. Yeah. Oh, no. My own <laughs> no. It's okay. It's the thought that counts. Roy. Right? Yeah. You gotta write it out for Roy. I asked him if he wanted me to text it to him. He said, no, I remember. Roy? Even then, even then, Roy, okay? He's gonna kill me for doing this, but even then, Roy, I'll be like, hey, Roy, okay, I need an SUV newer than a 2016. We can buy for $15,000. Gotta have a under 100 thousand kilometers on it anything out there you're seeing in the auction can be any brand yeah okay kim oh uh, you know what i just saw go through the auction at chrysler 200 yeah 2012 yeah. <laughs> probably it's gonna be way under book i can get it super cheap yeah 
Mm. It's a, it's hard explaining the, the way the finance rules work. But he's a finance guy! I know. He just loves it, buying. He gets so excited about it. It's true. Um, and sometimes you don't... You, and some he hits the nail on the head most of the time. It, uh, he, he does. And also... He just likes to tell me about all the other good deals flying around. I feel like I, even I mess it up sometimes. You're taping it. I'm taping yeah. it up because it's got to it's it's got to stay still, you know. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. It's, it's Nobody's gonna stick with us. Porsche Rose's first podcast. It's, it's not gonna good. stay. It's gonna move around. We just gotta get the proper equipment for the vehicles. You know what I've used uh, before is a band aid. A band aid works really good. Unfortunately, I don't just carry band aids with me, but. If I did, I would give it to you. I would too. This is a boring podcast so far. We're 20 minutes in. We haven't started talking about nothing. Do you want to restart it? We could. Yeah. Welcome to Buy It Smart Podcast, where we have exciting conversations while driving around in the car that we has, we have for sale. 2014. At buyitsmart.ca. Kia Sorrento. Did you say you have money? Yeah, get this. Can tap I, that. I, oh, you got a tappy now. It'll be real embarrassing if it goes... <laughs> Yeah. Just kidding. Tap, tap is the best thing ever. I, it's my new card. It just came in the mail. You never it's had my tap new before? debit card. Well, my tap was out. Was that your feet? Like it didn't work anymore. Oh, okay. So they had to send me a new card. So I might have to stick oh, that one in. But okay. try the tap first. I might have to stick it in the first time. <laughs> yep. Uh, you gotta stop oh, messing uh, with it. I have tap. Yeah. Just gonna stop messing with it, man. It'll be mm -hmm. fine. So this is Shiraz. He's our new guy. Hey. Uh, no, it's okay. New guy at Buy Smart Auto. Started last week. Thank you. Shiraz. Thank you. Chic. Thank you. You too. She had like an intro song. You should have an intro song. What would it be if you had an intro song? Probably be like something from Space Jam or something. Is this like Shiraz? Really high up. No, this one's yours. Uh -huh. you, my something from Space Jam? Everyone in the car is annoying me right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I heard this song today and it was I'm like... I'm going to pull up right here and I'm just going to fix this. Actually, I'm going to go down. You're going to have to gas. start the whole podcast again because that was a we bad start. And you can get gas right here. Right here. Well, we'll get, get gas and right. then we'll start the podcast. Okay. You should still keep this 20-minute video because there's energy. Yeah. No, we're, we're not going to... You're going to have to splice and dice it. Why? People love long videos. Oh. <sighs> Come on, wow. bro. Wow, he took yeah, it wrong, Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Well, hard on the yeah, gas well guess who's not buying a Marchand home today? Okay, because your truck just cut me off. <laughs> Don't put diesel in. Yeah. You're at the diesel pump. Yeah. I saw this meme. It was like he's like oh, I had to stop and get I had to stop and get gas, and he's, he's pumping a diesel. And then someone commented, "Is like your truck's not diesel, bro?" And he's like, "It is now." <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work that way. All right, I'm just gonna have to take the seatbelt off. It is now. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, it smells like gasoline coming in. Oh man, oh man. I had to put my motivational memes on my, on my, uh, on my, uh, screen. On my, on Wake my up? phone screen. Oh, nice. Make sure I get up in the morning and do my damn work. What time do you work at? Wake up? I, I try to hit the 5 a.m. club. Oh my gosh. Today was 5.30, and then I lounged. When do you sleep? Well, I go to bed at like 9.30. I just feel like you're always 10. working. Yeah, I'm always working. So, like, I just feel like sleep is not in your, in your life. Well, this is temporary. It's been a lot of years of temporary. <laughs> but I feel it's starting to finally come Together. to the vision. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta I mean, no gotta success comes it. without working hard anyways, right? So. That's... That's what I say. I mean, it depends, you know? Like, success for me would be to see this thing lift, have many people employed, making decent incomes, with good reviews with our customers, to do things differently in auto, and to not have to work as hard as I've had to work the last couple of years. But I would not, I, I'm in no way, shape, or form looking at done work, because I love what I do. That's but good. finding a little bit more balance would be. Yeah, I understand that. You know what I mean? Yeah, you've been. In That's the what industry. my husband would probably say. Um, Twenty plus years. Yeah, ninety six. Yeah. So. But I was just a puppy in, then, right? man. I was just a puppy. You were just like me. Yeah. 
No, you're you're old. What? How old are you? Thirty something. I'm twenty seven. Twenty seven. But I mean, like you're you're just fresh in the game. Yep, okay. I'm fresh in the game. I'm gonna fix this. Ready to sell Toyota. Oh no! Uh, oh no, man, that makes me real sad. That makes me sad. I, I mean, I hope it, everyone was okay. It makes me sad for you and your car, but it makes me sad for this I don't this know if guy. you guys believe in this, but I think if you hit a certain age, you should be redoing the driver's test. Yeah, I do believe it. Just because, like, I do believe it. You got to think of the safety for, of others. Not the safety of others, just the safety of yourself too. You know, at that age, you're more prone to like random anything, like a random heart attack, random this, random that, right? Yeah. yeah Imagine true. having a heart attack on the street and you're driving. You're 67 years old. Yeah. And then you crash and you crash. And you kill yourself or someone else, or it's crazy, right? I'm yeah. off. that call but uh, I will call him back you can answer it uh, I can't really ever. answer that one that was not a salesperson oh that was uh oh I read the last name wrong yeah George I had to take the seatbelt off because it was strangling me I know you put a tight for your son but well you can loosen it man I just, it's too much effort it's early in the morning you probably have it what if we get pulled over you probably have the mm -hmm. track the track setting going back to secure the child safety seat. Absolutely. That's a, it's a three-point okay. seatbelt system. You want me to show you how they work? Yeah. Okay. Three-point seatbelt system works like this. I have to retract the seatbelt all the way back. Okay. Okay. Nobody ever shows customers this. They should. Standard yeah. feature, safety feature on every vehicle. I need to know this. Okay. So when it's all the way they're tracked the back, you can buckle up. Yeah. Okay. And and you can should be able to move freely about the cabin okay. <laughs> okay you can now move freely about the cabin now this is the first point the second point would be if we come to a stop quickly oh <laughs> there we go <laughs> so standard safety features on most vehicles but took a second for work so hey if you come to a stop quickly it's supposed to grab you yeah okay and then the third thing is retract all the way back like George probably did with that seatbelt back there and pull it all the way forward and then you got to hold it in a certain angle and you can hear it clicking back click 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 and then you can buckle yourself or your child safety seat in and it should pin me right to the chair here there we go <laughs> See? Yeah. Three point safety seatbelt safety system. Man, that was uh this is the reason why I should come by. That was that was a Regan's Lexus Toyota circa nineteen ninety eight right there. <laughs> it is still a standard safety feature. Yeah. Three point harness. Many people don't know it. That was when airbags only came on the driver's side. <laughs> <laughs> It's like Bill Burr has a joke about that where he's like, what What was that all about? It's like, Poof. he's like, oh, my family! <laughs> That's not cool. No. Well, you, oh yeah. Why did you just give it to me? <laughs> now they got them everywhere. Airbag, airbag, airbag. Curtain airbags. Yeah, airbag. Yeah. Have you ever been in an accident where an airbag came out? Nope. Maybe Luckily. I was in an airbag uh, accident where the airbag, airbag probably should have and didn't. He should be sponsored by is that weird? Yeah. Like, but actually, I think they only deploy, deploy on like certain impact. direct. Oh, okay. And mine was kind of off to the side. I don't know if it'd be better or worse for it to deploy like on a side impact. So, Shiraz, how are your first. Is it first week? Yeah, week. Not even a week? Yeah, yeah, it's been a full week because I came in that Friday, right? That's right. So, and then there was a holiday. But yeah, full week. Okay. Full week. Full week and a second day. So, how do you feel about the car business so far? I like it. It's new. It's uh, different. You know, I'm coming from no sales experience, but with the great training of you two, I've learned a lot in the week, so oh, I can't complain. I, also, I feel like it's kind of in your blood, too, though. We're, uh, we're slapping wheels now, right? So, yeah. it was big. It was like a, a big like smile on my face when I, George called me to, to do my first interview. He's like, can you handle it? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to come back with like a t needing a TO. But Everyone back does. The full interview sheet and the proof of income and driver's license. Yeah. Boom. Because
because everyone does. Then, not yeah. only did that happen, but the following week, this weekend, we got like five apps throughout the weekend. So, That's just wicked. killing it. That's wicked. So numbers, it's definitely numbers gotta game, yeah. get through the numbers. No. Not everybody is ready. Not everybody can buy do their finances. Absolutely. Yeah. And then sometimes there's other circumstances. I call them other circumstances. Okay. You just don't jive with the customer or whatever. Something yeah. just doesn't happen. But out of four, I bet there's one, maybe two there. I was definitely a little nervous. Uh, I think I think he, that he's going to have a high ratio on these clients he's dealing with now. Yeah. Because they're all, they all, there's no reason for them not to buy with us, basically. Yeah. You know, that's, that's coming good. from, uh, from a corporate side of things. So, you know, one thing I learned in corporate, especially like in a big company, like they did work for Sobeys, right? Yeah. Persistence is so key. So, like, you know, when we do our, our, our side of the job. Our 50%, we need the customer to do the 50%, too, right? So, being on them for things, if they want a car that bad, and we're helping them and doing everything we can to get them approved and get them in the vehicle they want. So, just be persistent on getting the things you need, like income and, and whatever else the banks are requiring, right? Mm. Nice. So, I, I definitely take that that one skill from from corporate to. I like that. That's going in the training manual. Yeah. yeah. Persistence is key. Like, you won't get nowhere. Also, I feel like it's one thing that's very hard to train somebody. It's to do. Super hard. You can't very, train that piece. My uh, yeah. my old boss, she she was on top because, like I said, in the corporate, you you deal with so many like this. Like I work come from a company of one hundred twenty five thousand employees. So wow. when you want that's something, that's how many they have. Yeah, it's huge, man. When you want when you want Crazy. something, and you know they have the access to it, but they're just kind of blowing you off, or they have so many emails coming in their inbox, like you, you have to gotta, stay on it. You just gotta stay on it because, like, as much as it might annoy them, in the end, it. You get what you want, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of do that with us too. Yeah, and a lot of times you're getting what the, I mean, the client know. wants too, right? Absolutely. Like, they always say like your hardest prospect is the most rewarding one. Yeah, absolutely. And it's because they know that they need your service and they don't want to face that. They know, they know that they need your help and they don't want to face that, right? Mm. Like, I know we put some on the customer because we need some information, but uh, us being persistent will get the results they want, right? Uh, yeah. People that they love. I was thinking about this too, like everyone's going to the finance first thing, especially COVID, right? Yeah. Most dealers are going that way. It's like, well, let's get you pre-approved and then blah, 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 right? Yeah. The, the whole touch and feel, like take it home, show your parents, the overnight test drive thing is pretty much dead, I, I think, right? In, in our used world. Business, in sure. our world, but in the used car world for sure. And even in the new car world, like I don't think that like the new truck guys are letting, unless, unless it's a guy that like routinely buys a brand new truck every three years you know what i mean like he's not taking an overnight test drive anymore oh right? no overnights can't yeah. do insurance wise yeah. either. but there i mean there are there are going to be those like few clients that are just like friends of the owner or whatever and it's like yeah take this one for the week bill take it down to the <laughs> campground and let me know what you think you know what i mean <laughs> but to a large degree that that type of selling cars is dead yeah and i was thinking um like we don't we we're, we're very open with our customers. Like that's one thing Straws had said because he we're shadowing a lot together, right? So when I'm talking to the customers about their finances, like and I get off the phone, he's like, "Man, you told them literally everything that was on your dealer track screen there." And I'm like, "Yeah, why would I not tell them that stuff, right?" Yeah. Um, because it honestly just helps move the process along faster. And I think the problem is is that what would help in this world is if there was some type of regulation that said you really can't uh, build a worksheet until you have the income confirmed or until we've decided to waive the income. Do you know what I mean? Build this, a worksheet, you gotta have to explain that to everybody. So like build, build, a worksheet, build a worksheet means match a customer yep. to the vehicle that they're looking, that a vehicle that will work for what the bank said that they'll loan the money for. Right. And you can build a worksheet, which means you can put a vehicle in and the bank will the, the bank will give you a value for that vehicle. Yeah. They'll say this is what you can sell this vehicle for, and and uh, this is what the this customer based on their credit interest rate will be, and the vehicle interest rate will be, and this is what their payment will be. So you try to fit it all, all three of those things. You try to fit it all in one space. Yeah. So that you can present the, that vehicle to the customer. Now what we do is we don't do that until we have the income confirmed. That's a that's a that's like a that's like a, a like. A, Procedure, I guess. Yeah, it, it's except a policy. For sometimes, depending on how experienced you are, mm -hmm. we can I we can see based on what we've gathered from the customer whether or not it's going to income verify. Yeah, true. That's true. There's like just so many like lately, like especially with COVID, people are have up pay stub and then they're topping up their income with 
BI and then some people are seasonal and yeah. then some people got some side hustle self-employment stuff going on and yeah. so you can't really properly know where the bank's gonna yeah exactly like it, 10 so years on the job that. I have their I have uh, two ADP pay stubs that their year-to-date's lining up I'm not worried about income we can talk about cars right that's fine um, but this is what I think though it's doing the industry we're, we're hurting ourselves with this because this is what we were talking about earlier. We, when we ask people, please don't go shopping yeah. right now, yeah. because we could put a, we could put a, a pre-approval together for you, and you could lose it if you go to a different dealership and like there's different there's a different vehicle selected, or you know what I mean. Like things are the different. The information right? goes in. Yeah. When so the, and people don't believe us nervous. on that, right? But that's yeah. fine. But if the bank had a rule, or or the industry had a rule that like you cannot present a vehicle until you know for sure the customer can purchase which which means the income has to be verified right then we would all be playing the same game right because what happens all the time right I already got approved you hear that all the time mm. right I'm already approved on this truck down the road and and you 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 have to you have to try to explain to the customer like you're probably you're, like you're probably not they're probably just trying to get you you know what I mean especially with someone who's got a like a near or a non-prime approval and they're like well I, I can get I can get a you know four hundred dollar a month truck down the road at this place. I'm already pre-approved, and it's like, but you might not be though. Have they actually looked at the full story? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean that's why you see me um, shift our model with you guys into more open transparency, where the only reason why it wasn't that way always for me is because it's so there's so many ins and outs of how do you explain finance but now you're gonna have to you have to share what's going on with the customer so they can see the full picture and understand mm. you know like it would be nothing if the customer was physically with me for me to turn the screen around yeah and show the customer what each and every bank has said they yeah. would offer them in terms of money mm -hmm. because when they're thinking in their head they can get 60 grand for a truck or somebody said oh I got an appointment at 3 and they said I can get a well it's like what bank because I'm showing you every bank that loads yeah, exactly. money for automobiles so there's got to be something not so right there oftentimes you send them on their way and it's the best shotgun back mm -hmm. you know being confident that that's not what knowing that 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 they can't do that usually shoots them back because you're just open and honest with them right yeah that's happened a lot but you, you, you can't you can't um, you can't control what another dealership staff is capable of doing, let alone what they do, mm -hmm. because there's so many different philosophies and misunderstandings, especially around the non-prime world. Yeah, and you get people who think they're helping their customers out by playing with the application. Exactly. Yeah. And so what happens is, is if a customer goes to multiple dealerships and the application isn't, when we put the truthful application in, if somebody doesn't put the truthful application in and somebody else puts another version of the truth application in, and then eventually the bank kind of throws their hands up and goes, I can't trust any of these applications. And yeah. they do what's called it, withdraw them and yeah. send them to decline. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened with that one customer yeah. said, this is going to, that was a struggle to get any money. For her, yeah. Uh, and then by the time she came back around to the realization that we were actually telling her the truth, unfortunately, she had put her information in the hands of so many different people that right. they had. The bank just said, "Sorry, mm -hmm. we now we don't know if you guys were telling the truth because yeah. we don't know what the truth is." Exactly. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's crazy. But I hear what you're saying because because can you imagine if all the banks just said pre-approval only? That's it. That's what we do. If you're on. You can send us a pre approval. We'll give you a pre approval. We'll give you the green light. Yeah. But then before we unlock the worksheet, you have to have your income confirmed. Okay, but here's the only thing. Mm -hmm. Here's the only thing about that. And I can hear the uprising of, <laughs> of, of, of all the dealers? Of all the prime customers. Oh, you know? the prime customers. Yeah, yeah. Well, because okay. there's still like a little, there's still like this, and I don't know where it comes from. It's like this sheep of offense. Mm -hmm. It's like, don't offend me by asking me about. Yeah. But the reality is, is that when people are offended by that question around before we get going here, you know, if there's no budget that I need to be respectful of, yeah, I don't care. The job, the, the job is very easy. At that That's point. right. It's like you want that. Okay, here it goes. Yeah. There's the 
there's the MSRP sticker, take that to the front desk and cut <laughs> yeah. your check. Yeah. Right? It's when you have to layer it on with, okay, well, I'm going to be doing some financing. Great. I mean, the only thing I ask is that if you're going to be doing financing, I have to ask you, what rate do you qualify for? If you don't know, we should find that out. Otherwise, I can't. We're done. Full stop. Right here. So now what do you want me to do? Right. You want the truck. You want to finance. Yeah. Okay. So in order to finance, I'm going to have to make the application now. But you know what? Even for prime customers, I feel like it would be a benefit. It's definitely a benefit. I think convincing. But if that was the industry standard, if the, if the banks didn't allow it anymore. You know what I mean? Like, all of a sudden, the Bank of Canada said, you can't have a 30-year mortgage. And the, the, the whole mortgage industry had to shift, right? We, 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 oh, fine, I guess we can't do it anymore. Yeah. It's made that rule, right? Yeah. And if they made this a similar rule, like, all of a sudden, if you're not pre-approved, you can't buy a car. Sorry. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. We can, we can turn around. No, no, we're we'll go good, around the loop again. Yeah, you got to get your Oz's opinion on this stuff because he's new to the business. Yeah, and he's just sitting there and he's, he's probably not even a, saying anything. He's a bad guest. And he's like, guest, he'd have a good... <laughs> You'd have a good per perception of what it would be like in that, what you're suggesting. Mm -hmm. so only How would you feel? Only pre approvals. Yeah, you gotta go to a dealership and you gotta do a pre approval before you can even look at a vehicle. I mean, hmm? it makes sense to me. Before Is there you, any exceptions to that? No, the, what, before but being you can, a prime customer like yeah. myself. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> I, um, is that gonna be a huge impact on prime customers? Because, like, what if you just get on them? Well, usually, exactly. Like, I yeah. usually, not to brag, but I've only gotten auto fun so far. Yeah. Yeah. Knock on wood, that doesn't change. Yeah. Yeah. So, here's what I, the, the fail safe there is if you walk in, if you walk into a dealership as a prime customer, yeah. you say, don't worry about my credit. I have great credit. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's go look at cars. That's I right. do that, now I do that now. Yeah. Right? So, I just wanted clarity on that because yeah. I thought what you were saying was. It's like, no matter what. No, yeah, you no, can't no, no, get no, no, in no, a car. Yeah. No. Also, the bank's protection against prime would be if someone is like, yeah, I am financing, I would like to take a look. Yeah. Um, and you're saying, well, banks have the freedom to waive income too, right? Yeah. They could do that for a prime customer. They can just say, okay, we're, he's good. We know based on his credit history, we don't yeah. need to see his income. He's going to be fine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So so for those customers, it really wouldn't impact that much. The banks might actually start waiving income more often, which could be a good thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I misunderstood. Because what I'm, because what we do now, mm -hmm. well, the way the way that I still teach it, even in prime, non-prime, if a customer's you don't know what you're dealing with until you know where the customer's coming from. Exactly. So if they walk through the front door, you have no idea what brought them in the front door. Now, yes. the lucky thing is with online and what we do with our leads, mm -hmm. so we should probably clarify this, is that we run an ad or a post mm -hmm. on social, mm -hmm. whether it be Google, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and the message on that ad is get pre-approved for your auto loan, yes. know before you shop, mm -hmm. and then if they want to do that, they click a button that allows them to fill out a form to right. get pre-approved before they shop. Yeah. So some people are like, you know, like certain, some of my friends are like, oh, that's, uh, I, I would never I would buy never a car do that, that yeah. way. I'm like, yeah. I know, my business isn't for you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> my yeah. business is for people who <laughs> either are uncertain yeah. or outright know that they probably won't qualify for an auto loan. Right. Yeah. yeah. But but you know for for you know I've had friends buy vehicles from me and the question is you know the you know I'll just say you, so you're where are we what are we dealing with credit wise oh my credit's fantastic right okay so no problem so if Shiraz is my customer I say no problem let's take a look you know same questions what are we looking for what type of vehicle yeah. what are you driving now what do you like about it what do you not like about it yeah. okay here's some suggestions that i can think of am i dealing with any budget restrictions whether it be total price or monthly budget roger is going to tell me shiraz is going to tell me this or that mm -hmm. you know maybe yes maybe no let's say he does have a budget no if budget. he <laughs> no budget let's go look no at budget. vehicles yeah exactly budget then i gotta do the math backwards yeah right and mm -hmm. if my if shiraz is saying his credit is prime i pull out my rate sheets for all my prime lenders right yeah and i work it out based on the best rate and we have a Shiraz calculator is yeah. confident we have a calculator we don't even need to submit your application yeah so i'm like let's go look at that car that car that car yeah. they all come within realm mm -hmm. of your budget i think, I think the, the way we do it is, is better yeah because you know the old like you guys said the old way you come in because yeah. let's say for example you look at a, a dealership website and yeah fixate on one car yeah but you're not sure of your credit rate yeah like you think it's okay but you really don't know until you, until you find out yeah right so you go in you're like i want this car and this car only 
Yeah. So you get fixated on that. So then you get the reality check that maybe you can't get it, right? If they come back. So getting the pre approval first, then matching a vehicle to your pre approval, I think is a better way of shopping. Yeah, definitely. Just because, like, you don't, like, that disappointment. Like, you know, you're, it's, when you're buying a car, especially for me, like, I've had a few cars in my life now. Yeah. It's, it's exciting. It is. Like, you're like, oh, this is something I achieved on my own. This is something I wanted, you know. I'm paying for it. I worked my ass off to get it, you know. And then you get, then you go to, and you can't get the car you want. It's a huge, like, kick in the face, right? Mm. Where if you do the pre approval and then you match a car, even though you maybe you had your mindset pre preset to, okay, maybe I want this car. Yeah. But maybe something else might catch your eye because, you know, and then there's so many different cars, right? Yeah. So getting that pre approval, okay, this is what the bank's going to give me. This is what we're working with. Then you got, we come in as salespeople. Yeah. And we, we help you guys find the car that's going to match that, right? And I just think that's a better way of shopping. You know? And you know what? Every time you talk to this, why I like hiring new people to the auto business. Yeah. Because when you, when I run this concept by regular, you need a car over here. Oh. Yeah, by TDS by cars. like regular citizens yeah. Yeah. that are outside the car business, they're like, man, when did when did that start happening in the car business? So That's a really always. great idea. And I'm like, it didn't start happening in the car business. It's something we're trying to, to start. Now. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and that's what I find the freshness of Shiraz probably uh, a lot of his success rate right now as he's starting to talk to customers. It, ma it makes sense in the mind already, mm -hmm. right? The thing is, is the, it's, it's, it's not even the people's fault, but the lack of education behind how credit works. Yeah. It hurts a lot of people in this world, right? Like, you know, I'm, I'm a firm believer, and I've said this to you guys before and anyone else, that I think credit should be taught in school, whether it's high school or post-secondary education. It's just something because too many people come out of the, that school with bad credit. 100%. Because they, they think it's free money and they don't have to pay it back, right? And like it? you guys said, when they shop around it, five different dealerships not doing anything for them right yeah so isn't it weird also like when people say like uh oh i would never buy a car that way <laughs> like, when you I tell know, them like, how okay. we do it, it's <laughs> like the, it, the car business is the only business that that like if you were a baker and you're like what do you guys sell at your bakery you're like oh we sell uh cinnamon buns and muffins like oh i've I would never buy a cinnamon I'm bun. I'm never you buying know, a like, cinnamon bun. It's fine. We, we just we sell them to people who want them, man. Like, you know, everyone's. That's why the it. sign says cinnamon buns and muffins. Yeah. Not everyone's gonna buy a car from us, but we can just hope hope they do. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I mean, that's the thing. It's hard from a marketing perspective. I can't even see why you wouldn't, though. Even if you did have millions of dollars, why you wouldn't want to buy it this way? Like, your guy's in the NBA or not, or not guy. Um, he's not in the NBA, is he? Who? The guy who wanted the the SRT. Oh no, he's a professional basketball yeah, player yeah. in Europe. Yeah, he he was been well, he's been to to England and he's trained in China and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, he's got lots of money. Yeah, he could buy a car with us. Like we can find him an SRT charger. Yeah, no yeah. I actually have to look this. Yeah, week. why wouldn't we? <laughs> yeah, they're available. Yeah, he's eager. So yeah, yeah. and we can oh, deliver what do you right mean, to the like, store. Oh, because his credit's good. Yeah, and he's got lots of money. Like, there's no, yeah, like, we yeah, could, we, we, could, we, we could sell a millionaire Ferrari if we yeah, wanted yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do a lot of good have credit. credit. Yeah. Oh my god, you could you deal with so many different types of situations in this industry. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like I said, I'm a weekend, but my family's been in the business, so I've heard all the stories for many, many years. But every every situation is different, right? Yeah. You never know what you're gonna get when you come in the front door. That's why we work here at Box of Chocolates Automotive, <laughs> where you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Can you imagine a box of chocolates automotive? You never know what you're gonna get. Man, there's so many you know different. You come in looking for a truck, you might leave with an accent. <laughs> <laughs> and a box of chocolates. You get a box hey! of chocolates. Every, every car purchase. comes with a free box of chocolates. Oh my god. Idea. We are changing our whole business model <laughs> yeah. right now to box of chocolates automotive. Okay, it's you know what? That's a good name, though. If you think about it. There's a used dealer in New Brunswick that I really love. Huggables. Oh yeah. Do they give you okay. hugs every time you buy a car? No, he they have a, a bear. teddy bear, big pink bear, right? Okay. And he gives you, and he does. If the owner, I know there, you came does, in looking for a, a vehicle, but here's a bear. <laughs> I we need something like that. I yeah. like it. I you like do. the box of chocolates. It could well, be I, can, I can hug all the customers if you want. Okay, <laughs> but we'll get in trouble. We can't yeah, use hugs. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us on the podcast. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>